COP28 President Sultan Al Jaber urged countries to get out of their comfort zones and work together to reach agreement before the two week summit ends. He said this when opening a plenary session as the summit entered its toughest phase of negotiations. In the next five days, we have the potential to deliver a paradigm shift that can define global economies and our future and put the most vulnerable in the center of climate action. Let us build on that success for an unprecedented outcome in the global stocktake decision and all other mandates. Together, we have surprised the doubters and inspired the optimists. Let this COP be remembered as the collective COP, a COP that changed the game, a COP that did transform how COPs are conducted. Let's please get this job done. With five days left before the conference's scheduled end on December 12, country ministers are joining the deliberations on Friday. Still unresolved is how the nearly 200 countries at COP28 will handle the thorny issue of fossil fuels, the main source of climate warming emissions, with at least 80 countries demanding a COP28 agreement that calls for an eventual end to their use. Such a position would be unprecedented after three decades of UN climate summits that have never addressed the future role of fossil fuels head-on.